Some Hamilton County classroom teachers are working overtime at school and even in their homes, but they're not getting paid for it. A new Tennessee law requires them to scan the barcodes of every book in their classroom so they can be posted on their school's website. It's a lot of work and the deadline is fast approaching. Middle Valley Elementary first grade teacher Michelle Gooden is one of many educators who keeps hundreds, even thousands of books in her classroom. Once that was a blessing, but in some ways it has become a curse. She and her fellow teachers just got word they have only a few weeks to scan each and every book in addition to their regular teaching duties. I don't have time to plan engaging lessons in my classroom if I have a deadline of scanning books, and I'm sorry, but to me, the children come first. A new Tennessee law called the Age Appropriate Materials Act is intended to satisfy critics of so-called inappropriate books, that each classroom includes only suitable content. And those books must be scanned and then posted on the school's website for everyone to see. No one's opposed to that, but the bill comes with a tight deadline and no additional help to do this extra work. Many teachers are being asked to do this on their own time. And in my personal opinion through the years, more and more things are asked of teachers to do in their own time. Hamilton County teachers have until August 31st to finish this task. Every book has to be scanned and documented, even multiple copies of the same book. Teachers say the tedious task takes time away from their primary focus, teaching children. Principal Allison DeYoung agrees. Somebody said, well, uh, as a principal, provide them extra time. Well, when? Because the extra time that I would provide would have to be taking time away from their time that they need to be planning and preparing and collaborating for instruction. In some schools, volunteers are able to help, but not all schools have an ample supply of volunteers. Principal DeYoung said better planning and communication from Tennessee's decision makers could have prevented an unnecessary amount of stress for classroom teachers. There should have been some conversation with educators to say, how is this going to impact the beginning of school and the work that you have to do, which is prioritized to teaching children? The Hamilton County Education Association has put the word out to Tennessee's state senators and representatives who passed this new law to feel free to volunteer at schools and help scan books. As of this afternoon, HCEA says there have been no takers.